Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Pushchair Expert Live. I'm Jo, and this is Kelly. Good morning. And today we are going to compare and contrast three uh, pushchairs. So we've also got a competition. We did promise you lots and lots of competitions. Yeah. So I'm today, cheer up a bit. sorry, I'm gonna cheer them up a bit. Yeah, yeah, cheer everybody up. Everybody needs something free, don't they? Yeah. So today we are going to be giving one of our beautiful Natu octopuses away in a choice of colour. All you need to do to enter the competition is to comment, ask us some questions, you know, let us know what you're thinking about the products as we go along. And at the end of our live, we will draw the winner live. So make sure that you stay tuned all the way through. But these are beautiful, aren't they? They are. They're so soft. And these little tentacles are supposed to feel to a newborn baby. I'll show you to the camera. Um, like the umbilical cord that they would have kind of held on to in the womb. Yes, yeah, so it's so, the same yeah. width as your umbilical cord at round about nine months, so it's a term. Mm. And little babies do grab hold of these in the womb. And with there being eight, it's quite easy for a little one to get yeah. hold. And we have they seen... They chew them. Yeah, well. we have, they are suitable from birth and we have seen newborn babies clutching onto them. So we have the evidence that it works. Loads and loads of colours for these. Um, we've got our light pink here. We've got a lovely uh, green, and these are so soft. They're absolutely beautiful. There's the blue here, and gray I'll let and Kelly white. do the other side. Reach. Gray and white here. We've got the lighter gray and white up here, and then finally we've got um, the dark pink there as well. So one for every baby. Excellent. We've got people joining us this morning. We've got the computer out for us. I think it just helps my eyesight a little bit rather than the <laughs> iPad. struggle on the iPad. Yeah, I do. I struggle <laughs> on the iPad. So I've got my big computer. It does help as well, though, because the, it shows the comments properly. We do struggle sometimes on the iPad to make sure we don't miss anybody They go whiz, they whiz yeah. up and down. So at least we can see a bit better on here. So we've got Steph Jennings has joined us. Foster baby, six weeks old today. Oh. And would love a little octopus. What colour, I wonder, Steph? Cassie's joined us this morning. She'd love to win one as well. So lots and lots of people joining us. So, you know, all you need to do is add a comment, ask a question, and you'll be entered into the draw. The more comments you put in, at the end, we'll just scroll up and down. Kelly will shout stop, and that will be our winner. Random selection. Yeah, so morning, Louise. Thank you for joining us. It's great to see people joining us this morning. So, what have we got? We're going to get rid of our octopuses for a little bit. I wonder what you call a... Sh it wouldn't be a shoal of octopi... Oct there must, high, would it? There no, must be. There must be if you a... know what you call a group of octopus, let us know. So, we've got three pushchairs that we're going to be comparing and contrasting. We've got them all set up as you perhaps would use it with one child, your, maybe your first child. Um, we have got the brand new Cybex Gazelle, which literally we have just taken delivery of. Yep. So... We might be a bit rusty on this one, but we're going to give it a good go, aren't we? Yes, we are. We're, we're reviewing it at the minute as well, so Kelly's we're learning as we go. Kelly's off videoing this, this afternoon with that. And in the middle, we've got the Upper Baby Vista V2. So this is the new Vista in a beautiful fin colour, yes, one of my favourite colours two here. The two different colours are lovely. And I know this one particularly well as well. Well, Joe does as well, but I've used this as a tandem, so I know that it works as well as a tandem. And I've used it as a single. There you go. So, and then on Finally. the left-hand side, or my left-hand side, we have got the Silver Cross Wave 2020. So this is the new wave, and we've got it in the beautiful indigo colour. Yeah. It's a lovely fit, either sex, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really, really nice. Um, I had a customer in uh, Saturday who absolutely loved it. So, so where should we start, Kelly? Should we start from this end and work how I am? Start with the wave. So how we're going to do it, we're going to go show get them set up kind of comparable so we'll go through it as just carry carts then the seats um, and then your tandem options that you have as well so if i start with silver cross and the wave your carry cot is a lovely size and you've got your leatherette detailing on your handlebar and your bumper bar inside it's beautifully quilted and a nice thick mattress to make it nice and comfortable for baby so any questions about the wave as we go along, just give yeah. us a shout. Zips on to keep them nice and secure in there, so perfect for this colder weather as well. But obviously you can have it off if you are in the summer months. And then you've got the contrasting colour that you pull out for your sun visor. It's quite good, the sun visor as well, because it also protects little one from the wind as well. I yeah. always say, sun's going to annoy baby, yeah. wind's going to wake them up. Ventilation panel under there. 
if you're using it for overnight sleeping, which you can do, if you're using it in the house, you can let a bit of um, air in there for them and make sure they don't overheat inside. It's more important that baby doesn't get too hot than too cold. Yeah. I think as a parent, you worry about them Wrap getting them up, too you? cold, don't you? Yep. Yeah. To remove it, you've got your two buttons either side that you pull up. And this is quite clever, um, the adapters on this. So you can have the carry cot in a slightly higher position, closer, higher up to you. And all you do is where the wave um, name comes from. You press the button here, flip it over. This also helps when you make it into a tandem to give you more space between the two bits. Really good if you're a taller parent as well, because yeah, you have, definitely. that does lift the carry cot up quite considerably. And that is quite a bit higher. I mean, if we compare now, it to the others, look. It does lift it quite a bit. You can do the similar thing with your upper baby vista, but it's an additional adapter that you buy. So that is your carry cot. You've got a good size basket, big wheels to be able to take you over lots of different things. Suspension built in there. The brake is easy to do. Press on the red lever or press on your green button at the top. Huge basket and it does come with your adapters which we've got on at the bottom there to turn it into a tandem. It's quite good, isn't it? So everything comes in your box for your wave. Yeah, for carry cot comes with its chassis, siblings. tandem adapters and your seat unit and obviously if you want to then use it for two seats, you just need to buy the second seat, but you can use it straight away. Which is tandem. So we've got, um, apparently there is no name for a group of octopi as they are solitary creatures. Learn something new every day. Thank you for researching. So thank you, Laura, Laura for looking that one up for us. So here we go. Um, Stacey's asking, do they do the silver cross in any other colours? They, yes, do. they do. They do. So there's a new few colours this year. Yeah. Um, and nearly every pushchair in this store comes in some kind of shade of grey, which yes, of I course. always add into my little spiel. It's very um, but we can add a link for you to the other colours, so that's no problem. But what a good question. Yes. So your Vista, again, really good size carry cot. You have got, where's the zip, zip this here. side? Got your nice big ventilation panel as well. And it's this a is, massive ventilation panel is, for anybody yeah. expecting Once you a pull summer baby. This out as well. So you've kind of got two sides. You've got your ventilation here from your big visor. So if it is a bright and sunny day, that's going to stop anything getting to baby. But then if it's still warm, you've got your ventilation panel at the back. And again, we can use this for overnight sleeping, can, can't yes. we? And you can, we've got them out here as well, if you show your cameraman. Um, you can buy the stands as well for both the Silver Cross um, Wave and for the Upper Baby Vista. So you can use that then as you're inside Moses' basket, just clip it onto your frame and use it in the house. And the good thing about the Vista one, it's quite clever, isn't it? Because obviously you usually sleep your carry cot for about six months yeah. and then you might get rid of your stand. They actually do um, a laundry bag insert that you just then clip on. So then you've got a laundry bag yeah. as well. They're clever. We like that. Doubling at the use. So inside you can put your um, hood down, pressing the buttons, zipped apron again and beautifully soft fabrics and lining a mattress in there. So it's a nice, decent sized carry cot as well. It is, yeah. And again, this does come in quite a number of colours. We've got it in Finn here. Um, we've got this one on display in our store. Yep. So I think it's my favourite. I think that's why I've put it on display, because it's my favourite. A um, really easy way to remove your carry cot on this one. You've got the button at the top, so rather than having to reach over and try and press buttons at the same time, literally press your button and lift away. So really easy to do. We're loving the comments this morning. Keep commenting, everybody, and you could win one of our <laughs> octopi. Wonder which colour people are going to go for. I'm going to go and grab them while you just show that. Thank you, Dokes. I know, I've chucked them. They're just Where over did there. Where you throw them? Oh. So um, you can buy adapters similar with your Subcross Wave. If you want to heighten, they are colour code as well. You've got a little um, colour here so you know which side they go on, which is really handy. And then you can pop that up in a really nice high position. Again, like Joe said, if you're a taller parent, want to bring it up, or just like having baby quite close to you, it's a really nice position. If you're a little bit on the shorter side, it might make it too... Yeah, to actually see over the hood, but but it's quite nice because we are different. Yeah. You know, parents come in all different shapes and sizes, and for our taller parents, sometimes carry cot can seem really, really low. Um, we've had some particularly tall gentlemen in, and they do feel like they're, they're bending they're reaching over. Down to put them in and out. Yeah, if so, you've got a bad back, you don't need to reach as far. You could literally just pop them in without bending too much. So that is your carry cot. One of the biggest baskets that we know on any pushchair on the Vista, you can hold lots, and lots and lots in there. Humongous. Yes. You, could, you could, I don't know, you could keep 
a number of octopi in there, although they are solitary creatures, apparently. Well, yes, so, so maybe I have to split them it up. It might just feel a little I bit lost in, in there. <laughs> <laughs> so Sinead is, uh, joined us this morning. She said so much more choice than when she needed a double push check. There are lots yeah. and lots of single to tandem options on the so market So obviously now. these are all... Um, Tandem options Tandem. as opposed to, sorry, I lost the word there, rather than side to side. So you have got the option as well as side to side push chairs, but these are all. And these are just three of the options. We've got lots more in store as well as these three. We've also got the Casato Wow XL. We've got the Eye Candy Peach. We've got the Eye Candy Orange. We've got. Lime. Oh no, Lime Single, sorry. Si um, we have got the Nuna um, Demi Grow. Yeah. We've also got Egg. Any more? Can I think of any more? I think that's it. Hybrid. Oh, hybrid, hybrid as yeah. well. So there's lots and lots of options. We've just pulled out these three because these three mm. are three that people often put together. Yeah. Although I'm pretty sure most won't have heard about the new kid on the block. No. So this is the new kid on the block, Which the is. Gazelle yep. from Cybex. Gazelle we have X. been waiting so long for Cybex to produce a tandem push chair. Yep. We it's saw this last year in Germany. Um, when we visited headquarters and now it's finally out at the end finally of this month. here the end of this month it's out but we are taking pre-orders on this um as we speak so kelly tell us about the gazelle so your gazelle you've got your apron that poppers in to hold it nice and high and poppers at the side to hold it in place really good size and it's lined in a nice soft material and you've got little pockets at the end there oh, so if you want to it's a little bit soft it is isn't it um if you want to pop any valuables or anything hidden in there you can do that's quite useful because then you yeah. don't have to go into your bag your changing bag or what have you yeah because often if you've it. got your bag in and you want to get in and out to stuff you leave your bag open and then you're making yeah. it susceptible to, to people all been there done things. that yeah so you've got your buttons just on the inside so you can put your hood down into different positions and then it locks in and the ventilation panel on this one is actually a window which is similar to what you have on your seat so it is a nice protected carry cot isn't it for those yeah, winter this months comes that's very right high up. isn't it yeah you um you're not there's not much gap there you can obviously have your visor in as well which gives you a bit more visibility to baby but if you're wanting to protect them as you walk Emma's joined us this morning and she's saying how comfortable it looks. And Laura said, looks like there's enough room for another baby in that basket. I think, yeah, yeah I think she's referring to the Vista. But having said yeah. that, we've got a nice big basket on all three of these. And it, yeah. I think as a mum, you learn that basket's so important, yeah. isn't it? I couldn't cope with a small basket. No, definitely not. And as because my, my son, the youngest, is two and a half. He's less than, I can't remember the last time he was in a pushchair. And, yeah, I'm missing going out, doing shopping and actually having to carry my bags now. I know. Carry your bags. Stop your children from running off. Yep. Yeah, no, I really miss having a pushchair all the yeah. time. Um, obviously, because they are single to tandem pushchairs, they are larger chassis. So that's another reason why you get a good size basket, even if you're using it in single, because the length of them is a little bit longer to allow for the second seat carry car seat moving on. And one of the nice things about these three is they're also suitable for twins as well. Yes, or you've got your uh, twin combinations in them all as well and can take car seats. So well, while we've got them side by side, I'd just like to home in on the finish of the frame on the Gazelle. Because yes. I do think it's it a bit is different. beautiful. So this is the top. Um, we've got black on top for this uh, with oh, your brown handle. Are you straightening? I'm cuddling this octopus. <laughs> um, it also comes in a black frame. So you can um, choose to have black as well with a few different colour choices, fabric colour choices. But this is the top, which is just a little bit different. I like something a little bit different. Yeah. I think it's it just, nice. I think that's why I was drawn to the Vista in Finn, because it's a little bit, bit different. different. So we've got lots of people joining us. They obviously want to win one of our Natu yes. octop uh, octopi this morning. All you need to do to win is just comment, ask us a question, tell us what you like about the products. Is there anything maybe you don't like? Just comment, 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 and at the end of this live, we'll draw our lucky winner. So we've got, uh, Laura said it looks really comfortable. Leanne Sanders has said she loves these. Emma has said she loves the back, uh, the black. She said that she loves the back, and then she loves the black. <laughs> <laughs> the back of the black. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, no, keep those comments coming. So, um, nice big basket again, like we say, and this one works slightly different with your adapters because everything's built in. So when you are going from single to tandem, you don't need to buy anything else. That's 
really good. It means you don't lose them either. No. You don't take them off. And a brilliant thing is the camera, if the camera can see, in the bottom, because you've got so many configurations, it's all listed on this, printed in the bottom of your basket. So no matter which configuration you're using, you know exactly, it's colour coded as well for the weight, so you know the weight limits. It's really nice that you can have two seats on with 22 kilo weight limits, so it's a bit higher than others. So for two chunky toddlers, you can have in there. So Natalie's joined us and said she wishes the Silver Cross was out in 2019 when she mm. had her little boy. It was out in 2019, but not the 2020 version. No. One of the great things about the new Wave is that it is lighter weight. And I love the fact they've made it slightly lighter yeah. as well. So, so Emma has said how clever. I think she's referring to our little picture on the bottom yeah, of the gazelle. It is clever. So shall we now move it to Caricot and seat unit? We or can just so we just do seat, seat unit. unit. Sorry, yeah. Let's switch it over and I'll show you seat unit. I'll show you how these pop on here as well. So we've got lots and lots of bits and pieces on here. One of the nice things about this product is you just slide and push. So I'll let Kelly get the seats out for us. Put those on the stands as if they're in the house. So the stand is really, really useful. And I have to say that that is something that I personally would have used it in the house. Because if you've got a carry cot that's suitable for overnight sleeping, baby is used to being in that carry cot. And we don't want to introduce too many different sleeping places for little one. Otherwise, they just get confused. Often people have a bedside crib upstairs, Moses basket downstairs, and then their carry cot for whilst when they are out and about you know and if you, you do want baby to sleep don't you oh yeah definitely so that's with your seat units on um you've got good reclined positions in them all these are, these two are bucket seats so can't be used until six months so use your carry cot for six months and then move them into the seat unit your gazelle s is a life flat um, seat unit so it's very clever how i'll show you in a second um the recline how it actually reclines I'm sorry, I'm, I'm no, jumping no, ahead no, here, aren't I? I, mean, I I'm just jumping mean, ahead. You know, the, in the middle. Yeah. It's hinged at the, the bottom, so it presses the bottom down. So you've got reclined positions, but not completely flat on these two, but plenty enough to give them a nice sleeping position. And then you've got your adjustable footrests on them all as well. People are loving the indigo colour on the end of the wave. It's, it's a beautiful colour, and it's just how it's all finished with the piping on. Um, the fabrics as well to match in. Silver Cross do fabrics so well, don't they? They really, they do. really do. Beautiful liner that comes with this as well. Bumper bar. Moves out the way so you can get baby in and out. Handlebar is adjustable. I don't think I showed that before. So quite a big range there for your Silver Cross Wave. For your seat unit on the upper baby Vista V2, really nice and easy to adjust. No rethread in there. You just slide your harness up and down doesn't that make life easy it does, so one yeah. day if little one's got a coat on and the next day it's warm because let's face it we live in the uk and the weather is quite changeable yeah. you don't have to re-thread your harness no that's it so um really good size so one of the changes they made for the v2 rather than have the same pull out visor like you have on your carry cot they've extended it with your fabric so it pulls right down actually past the bumper bar that's as far as that one goes and you have got your peekaboo window in there as well and also ventilation panel and then you've got your ventilation panel at the back in your new panel and also here so if you didn't have it quite pulled out you can still see into them as well it's a huge size hood we like and then it. Finally, i like it. i like a big hood yeah it's important isn't it it's nothing worse when they're squinting and they can't see anything and also if there's a quick shower of rain you know i have to say i'm i am the mama who would leave my rain cover at home and inevitably it then rains yeah so a large hood does mean that you've got the opportunity just to dash in somewhere and little one's not going to get too wet that's it so showing you recline on here you can see the bottom of the seat unit actually moves out it makes for a much comfier recline position it's so baby. fluid, isn't it? It is. And again, like on the um, Vista, you've got slides up and down to adjust your harness level. Nice big buckle. You've got your bumper bar that swivels out the way as well. I think tan, and handles, tan handles and bumper bars must be on trend at the moment because there's yeah. so many push chairs that have it's a really tan popular, option. isn't it? Yeah. So that's your reclines and your seat units. Again, give, all give quite good clearance. So you can still get into your baskets your big baskets so 
Uh, just a quick question for people at home. Do you prefer the bucket style seat or do you prefer yeah. um, the more lie flat seat? People do worry about that, don't they? Yeah, and they and do sit a bit differently in them, don't they? I've used both and my children have slept perfectly well in both. Yeah. Um, I, I think, think with a lie flat seat, you've just got, it just gives you the option to use the seat unit earlier yeah, yeah. because it lays flat so you can use it from both. So if you ever go anywhere that you just can't fit your carry cot in the car, you've got that option still. So Sharon has joined us this morning and she says she's loving the height adjustable handles especially as she's quite small and her partner's um, quite tall, yeah, which is true, isn't big, it? You've got yeah, different people pushing. So it's important, and I think because these are single to tandem push chairs, they often have a really good height because then that takes you back to get the yeah, two units. Yeah, so you're not going to kick um, anything then as well if you're a bit further away. So um, we've got a question from Stacey. Can we use a maxi cosy car seat on the Silver Cross? You can. You just need to make sure you get the right adapters because most adapters that you'll probably see will be the Silver Cross adapters to put a Silver Cross car seat on. They do also sell the Universal adapters, which allows you to put your Maxi Cozy Cybex be safe. Joy. So, yeah, it's and if you're not sure whether your car seat is suitable for your chassis, just get in touch and we can check whether it's been safety tested for yeah. you. Because with car seats, they tip test it because it changes the centre of gravity to what the pushchair of the ca seat unit or the carry cot does. So they test it just to make sure it's not going to change that too much and make it tip over. And the other thing to bear in mind, that single to tandem, sometimes a seat is okay in one position, a car seat is okay in one position, but not the other position. Yeah. So again, do get in touch. You know, we are here to help. Yeah, which is why we love the new Gazelles has got it all in the bottom. So at a quick glance, you know, Ta -da. this is what I can do. And you're not trying to put it on in a com different combinations. So babies, um, your toddler is now, say, two. You've got a nice age gap, you've had a newborn baby, so you need to put two children onto the frame. Oh, I didn't turn them, should I turn the seats around? Yeah, let's turn Sorry. the seats around. Yep. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll let you I'll turn do the them. seat around quick, so you can also see them, the seat in its on. We have got the adapters on already, on all of them, just to make it a bit quicker to show you. And there's no hard and fast rule when you turn little one round. Some people say, well, how old do they need to be when I turn them round? It's completely up to you. Our advice is, particularly when they're below one, is to have them facing you. You've got the interaction. You can talk to them. You can keep an eye on them. And a lot of people will say, well, do I have to turn them round? No, you don't have to turn them round. You can have them facing you forever. And I have to say, my children face me pretty much all of the time. But it's nice to have that option. Yeah, the okay. other thing I'd recommend is if you're in a city or somewhere unfamiliar or little ones a little bit under the weather, if you're pushing them in front of you, like so, they can't actually see you. They might be able to hear you, but you, they may not be able to see you. So if you're somewhere busy, actually, you're pushing them into this busy area and they can't see you. Quite intimidating. Yeah, really intimidating. So if you do find your little ones unsettled, turn them around and that may help. Um, comparing um, them, you can fold with one seat unit on as well with these two, but you have to, it's a two piece fold, a piece silver cross wave. Should we fold them with one seat unit on? You can do. So, just while you're doing that, we've got Stacey said she prefers a bucket seat, but she does like using the carry cot as long as possible. Yeah. We would always say your carry cot is the optimum position for yeah. a little one. Really, really is. And Ruth's joined us and she said her first and second like the bucket seat, but her third is not so fussy. I think as you go on, the more children you have, the last one perhaps isn't as fussy. No, or maybe not we're the just the case of mine because my third, my, two, my eldest two were in their carry cots. I was like, yes, staying in there till six months and stayed in there till six months. My third hated the carry cot, even though it was lovely. And I had to move him. Luckily, I'd got a lay flat seat unit so I could move him sooner. So he moved about five months, I think, because he just hated his carry cot. Ah, oh, okay. Well, really? Sorry. maybe I'm wrong then. Yeah. I don't know. My but if you do have that, you have the option without it being an issue. I do you like don't that have option. to worry. Yeah. And some of them, so you're up a baby, you can buy um, an insert to go yes. into it to make it suitable from birth for your seat unit anyway. Yeah. So they're all really easy to fold, as you yeah, can see. Just, uh, triggers on these two, just pull back and drop down. Slightly different on that because you've got your two buttons on the handlebar and then a little one at the side that you then push in. Um, this one doesn't freestand because of the shape. It's quite a long fold. Um, these two freestand, but if you just put it in your car, you probably wouldn't freestand it anyway. It's more handy in your hall, in your house, or in a cafe or yeah, something. Yeah, if you're in a cafe or a restaurant, it's quite useful to keep your seat on. Having yeah. said that, 
I always take my seat unit off just to make yes. it lighter, and it's yeah. just habit. I obviously yeah. didn't go out to enough restaurants. Oh, I know, it's Sorry sad, isn't that. it? Yeah, sad, isn't so it? So getting them back up, you've got lo lo automatic locks on them all, so just pull that, oh, or don't take it off, and then pull your frame back into the lock position. Your lock is on the inside on this one, so push it off. You're doing a grand job, and Kelly. Back up. Thank you. And then on this one, I'm not actually sure where your lock is. Oh, just, oh it's just there. And lift up, and then you seat unit back up. So slightly different designs. So we just need to pop a footrest out on yes, this one. Put it back out, but I'm going to show it in tandem, so I'm just going to take it off. So while Kelly gets that ready um, in tandem mode for everybody, do let us know if you've got a question. Don't forget, any questions, any comments, you're entered into the draw to win our lovely octopi. Now, the reason we're going live really, really regular, regularly, <laughs> I'm going to get my tongue tied there, is we know it's hard for a lot of people to get in store at the moment. You know, we're very lucky. We're still open, still welcoming people into store by appointments or you can wait if necessary for the stores too full on a Monday to Saturday. We're also offering video consultations. So if you can't get into store, just give us a shout and we can book in a video one-to-one cons -one video consultation. One of the girls will take you through whatever you want to see, whether it's push chairs, car seats, baby carriers, whether it's furniture, bedding, you know, whatever you need to see we can help you with that. So although lots of places are closed, we're kind of still up and running. We also Ooh. deliver... <laughs> Taking the stand with me. I don't know, he's wrecking the joint, Kelly. I am. We also deliver seven days a week, so if it's easier for you to take your delivery on a Saturday or a Sunday, do let us know and we can organise that for you. So Kelly's just setting those up. Now, it's really nice. Your Vista will come in a box with your carry cot and your seat unit. And it's exactly the same for your Wave. Slightly different, and I'll get Kelly to talk through how we purchased the Gazelle. Yep. But to turn um, your Wave, you've got all your adapters in your box. And for your Vista, it's a £50 upgrade just to get your adapters. What I'm going to do before I turn this into a tandem, we didn't mention what it comes in the box with. So if you put your main seat unit... Have I picked up the wrong seat? Yes, I have. <laughs> It's quite, it's quite tricky, isn't it? It is. You've just got a little groove on one and not on the other side. So. I think once you're using it every day, then you'll know which one oh, to yeah. pick up. So if you have that there, it does come in your box. Oh, oh yes, this. the basket. I yes. love the basket. So these, this is very clever. I'll show you in a minute how we turn it into a tandem. But these slide up the frame. So they don't really, come off, so you don't lose them. No, love they're it. already integrated into it. And all that you do... Oh, you slide that in. How look, good is that? That's great, isn't it? Look, you can put loads of... Look, you can put octopus in. You're going to make them fight, putting them all in together. You've already been told they don't live together. Well, they do in our house. They do here. <laughs> in our house. <laughs> they do in our house. I've lost some. There's some more colours than that. I don't know where they've gone. <laughs> They're solitary animals. They've gone. <laughs> <laughs> they knew what you were going to do. So this basket comes with um, your single push chair purchase. And you can have it in this... It only sits in this higher position. But you can useful, have a carry pot down there, you can have this on there, and then you get home, you've gone to walk to the shop, it's got your shopping all in here as well as in your huge basket, and then you just lift it off and take it to the house. How much shopping. shopping could I do with that? I'd probably be divorced, I'd spend too much money going out shopping, I'd be yeah. just like, got to fill it, got to fill it, got to fill it. They do also have it just on the chassis with just the basket, but I'm not sure that I would push this around just the chassis and the basket on a nice maybe child. maybe it's so that after you've had your children you yeah. can keep like it we and saying, when you become a little old lady it's, it's you can walker. take it shopping and it's your walker <laughs> see yeah. but yeah really unique Sorry, feature <laughs> for for this and um, that you can just pop it on in in that position and still have your you can can't do it if you've got it as a tandem just when you've got a single but you can have your carry cot car seat seat unit at the bottom there so there we go, something a little bit different and a little bit clever. So Emma has written, what a great idea. So gone are the tanks <laughs> in with the convertibles. Yeah, they used to be massive, didn't they, push chairs for two? Yes. And now they're a lot smaller. So this has a few, I'm just going to pop it on one version because it kind of stands out a little bit from the other two because you can pop your carry cot into the highest position. 
if I line it up right, which some people may prefer. So you've got, you can only have carry cotton seat unit on your Vista in this position. So carry cotton your lower adapters that you need to buy as a separate seat unit in the top facing you. Same with the Silver Cross, it comes with your adapter, so you don't have to buy those as an extra, and they just clip onto the frame at the front, but your carry cot goes in the lower position, and your toddler seat is facing you at the top. And you just switch those wave adapters over at the top to bring it closer to you and give you more of a gap between the two um, seating options. So we often find that people in store, they want the baby facing them and their toddler not facing them or behind. Yeah. However... Something was pointed out to me that is so true, having two children reasonably close together, that actually when you're out and about, baby is usually, hopefully, asleep, and actually yeah. you just poke your head around the side to be able yeah, to see them. Yeah, you can still them. see like that. And if you've got a toddler, let's say you've got an 18-month-old in here, new baby's just arrived in your house, sometimes that toddler needs that one-to-one -one with mum yeah. because the rest of the time they're trying to look after the baby. Yeah. So it could be really good quality time when you're out walking with your toddler to have them up there with you and able to talk to them yeah. and, and I think that's something having had one child you automatically want your baby up at the top but that quality time with your toddler is can be really really important yeah absolutely and hopefully baby's fast asleep while you're walking that's it. Um, whereas this does give you the option to have baby close to you you can also do it either way so your carry cot can go on the bottom and your seat can be facing you as well so you can still do what these do but you've got a few more options with it because of those sliding adapters depends on your child as well doesn't it, it does yeah or where you're going Yep. You know, if your toddler's been up all night and, you know, you might want them down there. Yeah. yeah. Shush, go to sleep now. Go to sleep now. So Sharon said that's brilliant. It has everything and, and more that's needed. And then you can still recline your seat. Obviously, you just need to be careful because that would extend it quite far. You don't want to bump into anyone. But you just get used to it, don't you? Yeah. You just have to be careful how you swing around in shops and things. So... What should I do next? So she, uh, people are absolutely loving these. They've loved the fold. Um, Ruth loves the basket. Yeah, this basket with the side, uh, side X gazelle. The gazelle. And um, it's got a little pocket on as well, so great for your, per, uh, your purse. Your purse or... might fit in there if it's a smaller purse, actually. It's quite a good size zip. Your phone, your keys definitely would. Yeah, I think you'd fit your purse in there. Yeah. I've phone got a massive keys. one, so it might not do that. Well, I've got a small one, so obviously not much in my purse. <laughs> Uh, it's just a lot of cards in mine, not, not cash. <laughs> Bother, I thought you were going to buy the ice creams this afternoon, <laughs> Kelly. So which is your favourite at home? We've got the Silver Cross Wave over there. In the middle, we have got the Vista V2, so the 2020 version. These are all new for this year versions. And the Gazelle S as well. Do you have a favourite? We would love to know whether you've got a favourite. If you've got one child, um, is it something that you thought about when you were purchasing your first pushchair? that maybe you might have another child. Was that future-proofing important to you? Yeah. I think it's becoming more and more important to people. Yeah, I think so too. So we're going to have a little look at the So now I'm moving to two seat units. There we One go. One of the many options. Let me just count, actually, how many options there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23 configurations in the... So let's do another video that is just about the gazelle. Say, we if might we be here through, a while. <laughs> all 23, people will, um, well, their children will have outgrown the pushchair by yeah, then. They would have. <laughs> so, like I said, it's really handy in here because it shows you those configurations. So you can have this in this position or here or here. So, so it's kind of three different button, positions. Yeah. And it just slides out. I don't know if I can do it when there's something in it. No, no you can't take then. it off. Um, but loads of room there for two toddlers, and you can fold it with two seats on as well. So you can also with the Vista, so I'll show you that as well. You're working for your money this morning, yeah. aren't you, Kelly? Getting warm this morning. Give Kelly the thumbs up. She's like our superstar <laughs> folder this morning. Right, let's take carry cut off. For this, you do need to switch. When you want two seat units on, you have to buy your rumble seat as an extra, as you would your second seat um, as an extra on there. Your adapters actually come with your rumble seat, so you don't have to buy those as an extra as well. It comes with your rumble seat, and it only fits the rumble seat on. So and it says rumble on. seat on it. <laughs> yes, it does, which is very handy. Thank you, upper baby. 
So have you got a favourite? Stacey says um, her favourite was the silver cross, but the black one's made her think about it all again. Ah. So anybody Bring a else? new one Ruth into the mix. Is loving the gazelle because it's so adaptable. Lily Rose has joined us this morning saying such lovely colours. Um, Justine said she loves the gazelle. She's never seen one before. That's because it's brand new, Justine. Yeah. Absolutely brand, brand spanking new. So these are available on pre-order. You can't get them delivered to you next day just yet, but we are taking pre-orders. Ross has so joined us this morning. It says it looks wicked. Which one, Ross? Which one do you <clears> like? Um, so, yeah, somebody's asked, uh, Leanne has asked, it's very nice, do you have it in a purple? I don't think any of them come in a purple, do they? No. 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 Is, the, is the answer to that. But you can get a lovely purple blanket. So if you need a splash of purple, yes. we'll find you a purple blanket. If you want to go side by side, out and about, do a lovely um, purple punch. Yep. Any others nice. purple, purple push chairs? <clears throat> Can't think Lots of Lots of patterns on your Cassato Wow XL. Well, yeah, and some, some of them will patterns. have a bit of purple in yeah. them, but not just purple. No. So if we did a video on purple push chairs, it'd be very short. <laughs> the old hybrid is purple. You get a purple in the old yes. hybrid, yep. which we've got an X display one available here. So if you're after a purple push chair. Oh, we've got lots of love hearts. People are loving this, Kelly. Good. So let me bring up some more. Oh, uh, Ross, he's come back to us. He loves the black one. It's the gazelle. The gazelle's getting lots of love. For the newbie on the block. Yeah. It's, it's just really it's so versatile with all the... Um, all the different configurations now we don't have a second seat for the silver cross but you can have both facing you or both facing away as well so, so not people? quite as many configurations on your silver cross but one probably that would suit any no but having said that i think people find a configuration that suits them and they you're usually not gonna, stick you're not, to yeah, it you're not going to use 23 configurations no you'll, 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 you'll find, find ones for you yeah so you know do we need 23 there's another one we've got in store that's what's it 52 <clears throat> The Cassato? Yeah. There's a lot on there. A lot. A lot. Whether you're going to use them all, I don't know. You will find something Yeah, but some are just you. a single, some are for twins. Obviously, if you've got siblings in different ages, you're not going to use twin configurations. So that limits it anyway. And <laughs> Laura's made a good comment. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt Go you on. there. Sorry. She said each system has some great features. And if you put them all together, you could have an exclusive, elusive. perfect, elusive. Well, I think she means exclusive. No, the elusive. The elusive. That 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 oh, yeah, I suppose so. That elusive, perfect push chair system. Yeah. I do actually say that to quite a lot of people when they come in store. We love all push chairs, and some are great for some families, but there is no perfect push chair. There's probably something on the push chair that you would change for you personally, but that's because it has to kind of cater for so many different lifestyles. Yeah, catering for the majority. Uh, Gemma is loving the Silver Cross. Anna, good question from Anna Pinkerton. She's asking about the tyres, um, whether they're solid or air tyres. They're all solid, solid foam Tires. Yeah, so solid tyres now with, um, they're so much better quality, so they will give you a really good ride. No Years ago, is. your solid tyres gave quite a harsh ride, whereas now... No, they, they, there's more technology yeah. built into them, isn't there? So it's not, they are like a little bit... A little, a little bit soft. A little bit squidgy. A little bit squidgy. Slightly squidgy tyres. So, shall I show folds? Yeah, let's show some folds. Well, yes. you sort out, how are you going to fold them I on? didn't mention these as well. These are um, the height adapters for your Vista. So it does, you can fit two seat units on without them, not the carry the seat unit. But No, you can fit it on, sorry, but it does create a much more space between the two if you have them. So we'd usually recommend having them. I think I'd have them. Yeah, I had them when I did it. So Lily Rose is saying she's loving the detailed videos that we do. And if you've joined us this morning and you're commenting, that's great. It means you want to win one of our octopi. Our octopi. But we've got lots and lots of videos. We've got quite um, a catalogue now of videos. So if there's something in particular you want to see, just let us know. We may already have the video. And if not, yeah. we will try and create one for you. Yeah. So, if you're folding with two seat units on with a Vista, fold your leg rest in. Both seats have to be forward facing. Um, brake on, handlebar in the highest position to make it freestand. And then you just lift your triggers and pull it back. And then you can also pull that whichever position is best. So, that's your fold with two seats on. So, and it's not small. It's not, it's not tiny, but do you know what? For Big push chair, it's yeah. not bad. And you can always take off your bumper bars to make it a little bit smaller. Yeah. It's quite heavy to fold with two seats units yeah. on, as you would expect. But if you are out, for me, it's if you're in a restaurant, you don't yeah. have different bits. That's a bits. lot people, smaller, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, it can people just slot in somewhere. Over. Yeah, or in the house. So 
So if you walk in a lot, you just want to fold it in the house, that would fit a lot neater than it would a big double push chair. <laughs> Ross has written, wait, there's something to win. You obviously weren't with us at the beginning, Ross. Where <laughs> were you? Where were you? Yes, anybody who comments this morning into a draw, and we're going to do the draw right at the end to win one of our beautiful Natu octopus. So, yes, Ross, you obviously weren't here at the beginning, but, yep, that's all you need to do is just to comment. And we're going to draw it live at the end, so stay tuned, everybody. So fold in um, your Gazelle S with two seat units. Don't forget the S. No, don't forget the S. Don't forget the S. No. Um, you fold your top seat unit facing you is the most compact way to do it and drop that down. That one, just drop it back slightly. So it goes in line with your frame, doesn't it? Yes. And then squeeze your buttons and press your button there and fold that like that. Well done. I think practiced. we've only practiced that once, practiced. didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm glad, glad you did that one. Yeah. So that is your fold. You can also do it with both seats on facing away, but it makes this, the fold slightly bigger. So this is your smallest. This is your compact fold. fold. And again, you can take off your bumper bar. You yeah. can drop that down. Yeah. Um, but a little bit more compact than your Vista folding all together because your seat units on that one fold clamshell in on themselves with it being lay flat. Clever. So. Yeah. Clever. We like it. We like but again, it. this won't fold with anything on. So it is a um, two, three piece fold. So you need to take it all to pieces. Take everything off to fold it. Yeah, Yeah, but these are going to be heavier to lift into your car, aren't they? Yeah. So it's pros and cons. Horses Swing, for courses. Horses for courses. Swings and roundabouts. Um, Lily said the fold is so easy, that's practical, and I really didn't expect it. Yeah, it's surprising, isn't it, for what you can get on there and the space you can get between the seats, how compact the fold is. Obviously, you can fold it without these on. It's Which even makes more it even more compact. Yeah. And push chairs historically didn't fold with two seat units on, did no. they? Apart from some of your strollers. Yeah. But so. yeah, no, it's a really handy option. I'm quite lazy when it comes to folding with my Vista. I would always <laughs> just leave, folding. Leave my seat. <gasps> I can't say Kelly's lazy I'm at all. She's stand running. Here and the rest is for you now. Jo. Yeah. You see, <laughs> see social distancing. She can't. She can't hit me because of social distancing. <laughs> So I think our cameraman's had some nice close-ups for those. Are they easy to unfold with two seat units on? So again, you fold. All you need to watch with your Vista is that you're not scraping that front seat unit on the floor as you pop it back up. So take your lock off there and then kind of just angle it as you pull it all back up. And like again, that. once you've done it a few times, you just get used to it, don't yeah. you? And then pop your seats back out with your Gazelle. Again, your lock is on the inside here. Pull that out, handlebar up so you can get your seat. I think you need to do your bottom seat up first, actually. <clears throat> Sit that in the upright position and at right position. And off you go. Off, off you go. go shopping with your humongous baskets on any of these push yeah. chairs. And lots of different configurations. And I really like the, the flexibility with up and down on that one. Um, and your lower adapters, didn't actually show that. You don't ever have to buy these. So there's a little button here. Swivel. That's clever, you see. That when you round. use a single, you don't need them on. And your adapter has gone. So even your single push chair that you've bought. It's magic. It's magic. Gone. Where's those adapters? It's the magic push chair. Yeah. So you, it's quite seamless in there. You don't have to have them out. Um, but really quick and simple. Just to pop them back out again if you do need to turn it into a tandem. It's quite useful as well because sometimes you might, when you've got two children, you might not always use it as a tandem every day. There might be some days you have it as a single. Yeah. If two of you going out, you might have another stroller yeah. and one of you take the push chair and one of you take the stroller. So yeah. it is, that is quite yeah. nice. Whereas it's just clips on this one and then you just kind of have to slide off the frame. And these the are way really easy. so easy, isn't it? Squeeze they, these two buttons here and that's all you're taking off. So they come in your box. Yeah. Um, just slides on that smaller gap there, but really, quick. really simple. Yeah, really, really simple. So I think your adapters wise, um, the most tricky, although it's not massively tricky, is the Vista. Yeah, you just kind of have to slide it off and you've got your, cl your clip to undo. Your little clamp, haven't you? Yeah. Um, but it's not, once you're doing it all the time, it's not that difficult. No. But definitely adapter wise, your Wave and your Gazelle are slightly easier. All three can do, did we say that we can do all three for twins? So you can have two seat units, two carry cots, two car seats on them all with your relevant adapters. Now. And they all come with your rain covers? No. No. Gazelle S doesn't. They don't all come with your rain covers. You Gazelle S, you must remember to buy your rain yes. covers. Yes. 
well done, Kelly. <laughs> Again, that's because I've read my review and my script for later. So. Yeah, so Kelly's off filming the gazelle this afternoon. Hopefully it won't rain. Does anybody have any questions or anything um, that, you, I've not sh that we've not shown you? Any combinations of seats, carry cots? We can always show some links. We are going to do some more in-depth videos of all three of these. We've already got some in the archive, but we are going to be doing some more in-depth videos because we know how important those videos are to you when you are at home. So if you've got any questions, just let us know. We're going to be going live really, really regularly. We've got some amazing prizes to give away, haven't we, we have. during our lives? So yeah. we're quite excited about that, as I'm sure that you are. If there's anything in particular you want to see, do let us know if you want us to do a video all about safe sleep, because I know that's something that people worry about. Again, let us know. Baby carrying is on the agenda. We did yeah. um, a live uh, a while ago, a while ago about it? baby carrying. Um, we do have an in-house um, baby weighing consultant. Who's that? That's, that's, that'll be you, Kelly. <laughs> so Kelly's done the qualification. So we class ourselves as uh, baby wearing experts, but Kelly is our consultant. So you can book a one-to-one -one with Kelly if you need some advice about baby wearing. That's no problem whatsoever. You're just showing it as you're just showing off now, I'm aren't just, you? Yeah, I just remembered there was a configuration on that one that maybe some people might like um, facing each other as long as this child is not going to kick this child. Yes. <laughs> Do not kick your sibling. No. So this is either forward facing, facing you, uh, or facing back to back. This is back forwards. This one's a few more configurations because yeah. they can face each other as well. So brilliant. Well done, Kelly. I think I'd better make you a coffee after this because you've done such a good job. You're going to need, I do a, need a sit drink. Down. You can also buy various accessories from um, cozy toes, your foot muffs. Um, we've talked about the carrier cot stands for your Vista and for your Wave, but there are a number of accessories, changing bags, etc., etc., that you can buy. You can even buy a beautiful coordinating blanket for this, which is yes. super, super pretty. And the new foot muffs are lovely. Did you, talk, did you say that? The new ganoush, cozy ganoushes oh, beautiful, are beautifully it? fluffy lines. It's going to go and grab one, but we'll do a video about that. So um, nice and warm. But yeah, you can have matching accessories with them all, as Joe jo said. So um, Hannah's asked about the cost of each for comparison. What I'll do, Hannah, is we will add those up because obviously, whether you're buying it as a single or a tandem for twins yeah, it depends on or what you need. for siblings, it does change. So we'll add those later. So. Shall we draw our winner? Yes. How are you so, going to do it? Well, I think we'll do like we did yesterday. You can choose which colour you want. So I'll grab, you can have a couple there. Where are the others then? I don't know where oh, the others there. are. There. There's more than that, isn't there? Mm. Where's our, there's a light blue one somewhere. It's gone, it's swum off. I don't think you had the light blue out. Oh you well. You have two on each push chest, that's six. Okay. There's lots of colours anyway, and we'll give you a choice of colours and send you the link. Or if you want to order these, just give us a shout because they are gorgeous. So what we're going to do, shall I just scroll up and down? Yeah, and then I'll tell her to stop. So you can just shout stop whenever you like, Kelly. Stop. So we have got Lily Rose Smith as our winner. Oh, congratulations, so congratulations, Lily Rose. Congratulations, Lily Rose. You are our random winner today and you've won yourself um, one of our Natu octopus. I wonder what colour she will have just give us a shout lily send us a message what color would you have um pressure pressure i think i'd go this one because it'd be either and it's i love that like duck eggy color see i would have gone that with my youngest because it was the first girl for a long time but a long time well <laughs> you had one before. <laughs> my first girl having had two boys um but i think boys i would have gone blue and maybe i'm just a bit traditional pink and blue yeah yeah depends on the color of your push chair yeah, but they are suitable from birth, so it's quite nice to have toys that are suitable from birth. And a story behind them, because this is the same width as your umbilical cord at nine months, and little babies like to grab hold of it like so. So thank you so much for joining us. You know where we are. Any questions, anything whatsoever, just give us a shout. We're here to help, and we will see you very soon. Make sure you've got your notifications on, then when you go, we go live, you can come and join us. Thanks for your comments, everybody, and your questions. Um, it wouldn't be the same without having a lovely audience. So see you soon. Bye.